Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine in this last day of 2020. What a year my friends. We have been going through all highs and all downs during the year. It was quite a strong and intensive year for the most of the people. And uh, even though it was a bad year because of this uh, COVID situation here in the crypto space, we have done very nicely. And I think everyone that is already today in the crypto space and own at least a little bit of Bitcoin will be doing very fine also in the coming year 2021. So don't let us spend too much time thinking about the past. Let's hope that the year 2021 will be an even better year, not only for the COVID thing, but also for Bitcoin, because I think in 2021, the crypto space will rise. And what we have seen this year is just the beginning. So if you are new in the crypto space or if you are already since many years invested in the crypto space, uh, then I think this year of 2021 will be a very exciting year. I'm sure we will go through very exciting times. So that's why make sure to relax, lean back and enjoy the ride because 2021 will be very nice in my opinion. And I'm happy to share my journey with you, my friends. So make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that you watch these videos daily. It is a pleasure for me, my friends, to be here with you. Also through the whole year of 2020, we did a lot of nice videos. We also had sometimes some giveaways. So this year was very, very nice. And at the beginning, we were less than 1000 subscribers. And right now we have over 2000 subscribers. So another big thank you, my friends, for your support during the whole year and also for your great support during good times, but also during bad times. And before we start with the content, a big shout out as well to the Discord trading chat. We have a very great crypto family over there. So make sure to join also our free trading chat, which you can also find down below here in the video description. So with that, my friends, let's start the last video of this year and we can start straight into the four hour time frame because even though bitcoin is still doing every day almost the new all-time highs i also did a live stream yesterday on twitch you can watch the replay also over here in the youtube videos even though bitcoin of course for the long term is looking bullish and also here we should expect continuation towards 30k and then we're gonna see what will happen there are still a lot of warning signs my friends that we could see a correction and also also that we could see a potential bear trap to then bottom out somewhere and immediately go again back higher and also break 30k towards 40 to 47 thousand dollar because that would be the next target based on Fibonacci extensions if we're able to create a support above 30 thousand dollars so let's wait and see what will happen once we're going to reach this price level which in my opinion we're going to reach pretty soon the only problem currently also here in the lower time frames that i'm seeing is here in the four hour these bearish divergences as you can see here we have in the price a high a higher high and now right now another new higher high and if we go into the rsi you can see that here we have lower highs and that of course is a bearish sign this could indicate that sooner or later we will see here a potential crash towards the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame right at 21 thousand five hundred dollar and if this is going to be playing out then think about maybe to scale in some longs and buy orders down to this level if you think that at 21,500 we potentially gonna bottom out and go again higher here towards 30k and potentially way higher so if you think that this area here 21,500 is a good price point to open up some longs and also to buy more bitcoin then start to scale in already some orders right now because i think if this bearish divergence is going to play out i think here this area should be the target because if we go back in time a little bit you can see that also here when we created this kind of bearish divergence the last time you can see here as well we have a high higher high and then even another higher high and here in the rsi you can see the same 
bearish divergence we have a pivot here and then always created a lower high and then finally the crash came and we bottomed out here at this green trend line of this channel that we are in currently actually we broke out already to the upside but it is still possible that we're gonna re-enter in this area if this bearish divergence is going to play out because all the last time you can see that we came down towards the 200 moving average so where this green trend line was lining up we created a double bottom and then immediately continued here the run to the upside and I think something similar could happen also here if we're gonna see here a massive sell-off towards the 200 moving average and also where more or less this green trend line is lining up so between here 21,500 down to 20k we could see a similar thing that we are going to bottom out here maybe create a double bottom pattern and then continue to go higher and higher towards 30k and potentially also break it only if we would fall below the 200 moving average or even below 20k and start to close four hour candles below this important support then i think we could be in here a bigger correction and in that case the target would be to reach here finally this fifteen thousand dollar area where also the 20 moving average is lining up in the weekly time frame so this is my targets my friends if this bearish divergence is going to play out we have a very similar pattern like we had also here in the past so let's see if this is going to play out and this could be denied if we are able to go above 30k and start to create a support above there and also if the RSI is coming higher than these previous highs that we had over here. So this bearish divergence could be still denied but so far we are still in the progress of creating this bearish divergence so we have to wait and see what will happen next but in my opinion since we have a lot of warning signs now also here in the lower time frames a correction down to the 200 moving average in my opinion is very likely to come next even though we could also touch here this 30k target that we still have before entering in a potential little correction area because don't forget it doesn't matter if bitcoin is crashing even towards the 200 daily moving average somewhere at around thirteen thousand dollar we are in a bull trend we are in a bull market and bitcoin will go way way higher so if such a correction will happen you should buy as much as possible and take it as a good long entry and buy opportunity so bitcoin is still looking bullish doesn't matter if we have some warning signs here for the lower time frames and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Bands in the 4 hour you can see that we're still trading here in the upper area so we could even fall towards here this $27,650 and then bounce from it but if we're starting here to lose the 9 moving average I think we could lead into this potential sell off towards the 200 moving average right at around $21,500 and there you should be prepared also mentally if you want to open already up some nice long positions buy more Bitcoin or if you want to wait for a potential bigger dip towards the 20 weekly moving average down at around $15,500 me personally I probably gonna open up some longs without leverage and if these uh, longs are going to play out then I will change it into a 10x or 20x trade and put a nice stop loss in profits so like that I'm also okay if we just bottom out somewhere here and then moon but also I will be prepared that if we're gonna see continuation to the downside I can stack up my long position and my liquidation price will be far far away and now let's go over into the daily time frame because here also you can see that we're still far away from all the moving averages in the daily so even though we have currently the nine daily moving average right at twenty six thousand three hundred dollar as a support we are in theory still shifted to the upside but a correction can still happen and in that case i'm still targeting here the next moving averages below of us here the 20 daily right at 24,000 and here the 50 daily at 20,400 so the 20k area right now should be as a very strong uh, support right now and even if we could come down here towards the 100 daily moving average currently at 16,350 where also more or less the 20 weekly moving average is lining up I think we should buy as much as possible in this area down here because it's still very likely that we could reach this area since we are also here in the daily very overbought in the RSI and also in my own indicator we are very overextended and you can also see that money flow is not really coming in here so I think there is not much needed to bring the price also down but at the same time also up so 30k is still in the cards but be aware that the correction can happen so if you're sitting in a high leveraged long trade make sure to have a stop 
loss in otherwise you can very easily get liquidated or stopped out in losses if we maybe see a nasty correction here to the downside because bear traps also happens during a bull market and that's why you should be also mentally ready if you see everything in red to buy more and also scale in long positions because it's going to be very hard to do that once you see the price crashing down and now we can also have a look into the daily time frame Bollinger Bands here because we are still trading right at the top here. So even though we could correct down towards the nine daily moving average at 26,300 or here the midline of $24,000, we will still remain on our bullish way to the upside. Only if we're starting to close daily candles below the middle line here, then in theory we could fall lower towards 20K potential even here at the bottom at around 17,600. But if we reach these levels, I think we most likely we're also going to test the 20 weekly at around $15,500. We have also all indicators shifted to the upside. It is possible that sooner or later we have to cool them off a little bit and then we're going to see a correction. But overall, Bitcoin is still looking very bullish also here in the daily and of course in the weekly as well. The trend is clearly shifted to the upside. So if we have corrections, buy as much as possible, scale in longs. And as long as we are not closing weekly candles below the 20 weekly moving average right here at 15,500, we should be good to go to the upside. So if the price is coming down here, we potentially gonna bottom out here and also have a big bounce from it if we are coming that low. But I think that we're gonna go for sure to test here this nine weekly moving average at 20,500 anytime soon. And this is where potentially it is already good to open up some nice long positions and also start to DCA into Bitcoin again if you don't have any Bitcoin yet and if you still need to accumulate some. So a correction down towards the nine weekly moving average is still possible since this moving average is always acting as a very strong support all along the bull market. So if we are coming down to these levels, think about already now if you want to open up some long positions over on Bybit and Femex and if you want to buy more Bitcoin at those prices because so far it is still possible that we're gonna reach here these price target and keep in mind that we still have some future gaps below of us especially this one over here at $23,800 so I think if we're coming that low to close all of this gap we potentially also gonna go way lower towards 9 or 20 weekly moving average to also close the little ones that we have right here at 18 and 17,000 and that might be the last opportunity to buy cheap Bitcoin below 20k if we are seeing such a correction. So all these scenarios, if we break 30k or if here we're gonna get a rejection and a big correction towards these important moving averages are all going to play out, in my opinion, at the beginning of 2021. So it's gonna be a very interesting and exciting year, my friends. I wish you already now all the best for the new year. If you are subscribed here to the channel and also maybe over on Discord and Twitch, then we are going to go through the year together. So make sure that you are subscribed and also tick the little bell so you will get always a notification when I upload a video. I do daily TA videos and if you also want to enter into this trading space where you can make the most money with longing Bitcoin then make sure to open up an account over on Bybit and Femex. You find my referral links down below here in the video description. With my links you support the channel and also you will get some extra money to do some free trades and if you don't want to trade at your own but you want to try to multiply your Bitcoins then make sure to use Prime XP with the co-vesting feature because here you can copy trade other successful traders such as this one that has over 5,000% in gains. You can just top up some Bitcoins over here and then click follow and you automatically are going to trade same as this top trader. So like that you have the chance also to multiply some Bitcoins. Yes my friends and with that I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you again very much for watching. Let's see if in this last couple of hours in 2020, we're gonna see some fireworks also here in the Bitcoin price because right now here at 30K, we are in territory where we could see a blow off top or a big firework before a little reversal that could take us towards these moving averages here in the weekly. But if we are really able to push through 30K and also build up a support above 30K, same like we did at 20K, a correction might not come so soon. And we most likely are going to enter 2021 with a Bitcoin price way above 30k and that of course is also very bullish for the outlook of this incoming 2021 which in my opinion will write history same like we did in 2017. So thank you again for all your support this year my friends and we're gonna see us all in 2021.
拜。